Hello, this is Aiden's Toy Trove. Today I am here with two different classic Briar models. I purchased these from Briar. Um, I believe that this one is the Halloween Classic Special Run Goblin, and this one is the 2016 um, Halloween Classic Special Run Crane. So we're going to open Goblin first. So he comes in this little um, plain, well not plain, but not like a retail box. He has little black horses running across this box. Um, I ordered him with um, Crane so that they would be shipped in a cardboard box, um, but normally this is how Briar ships them, just in this uh, white carton. Um, I personally have not had a problem with um, the, the white carton going through the mail, and um, it's how we ship them. We've never had a model broken, uh, but um, I know some people aren't happy with Briar's packaging, but we also, I should note, um, we uh, pack the box tightly full of popcorn, um, which gives added protection, uh, because where you don't have filler, you have a weak spot in your box. Um, and I, I think that's um, where a lot of shipping problems come from, is that there isn't enough filler in the box, and if you have watched my mail call series, um, you'll know that this is something that um, I take very seriously um, uh, with the filler, and, and, and I find great um, importance with the filler. Okay, so this is going to be Goblin, and I don't remember if it's he or she, but it is the Harper mold, and uh, it's supposed to be a glow-in-the-dark, kind of white and purple um, decorator model with a Goblin theme. Uh, one of the things I have heard is that these Goblins do, some of the Goblins, not all the Goblins, some of the Goblins do not glow in the dark. Uh, one of the things that I heard was you need to make sure that you actually put it in UV light. Um, uh, that um, Some people have reported that unlike previous models, you can't just put it under a typical light bulb and then expect it to glow. But rather you need to take it out in the sunshine or use a UV light bulb. Um, obviously, for the purposes of this video, I don't have time to check out the glowing of Goblin, but um, I will put him uh, in... Um, some UV light, and uh, I will um, figure out if uh, my goblin glows or does not glow, and I'd be curious to know if your goblin glows and to what extent your goblin glows. So this is goblin pretty neat. He comes with a little hang tag, and I'm just going to flip. Okay, it says Halloween 2017, and I don't see any boy parts, so I'm just going to refer to this as a her. I'm sorry if it's a he, but um, <laughs> she's very cool. She has kind of a bit of a... Uh, pearly sheen uh, to the uh, white. This is not bare plastic. This is painted over. And I think that this might be part of the problem of the glowing is that um, when you get to, to um, painting, maybe the uh, paint is not as um, strong at glowing as the unpainted plastic um, compared to Crane. Um, his um, unpainted plastic was the part that glowed. So I will show you um, Crane in just a minute. But I wanted to make sure that you got a good look at Goblin, because Goblin is very cool. Um, this one, well, she certainly has scary eyes. You see those little uh, white uh, pupils there, but I'm willing to bet that those pupils glow, which might be kind of spooky. And she has these goblins on her side, which are quite neat. And this, I don't know if it's a bat or a goblin, but it's cute. Uh... And then this side has some goblins as well. Um, I, I think I heard that the, um, the, the, the purple here is what glows um, on goblin. I, uh, I haven't confirmed that yet. Again, I, I need to put one out in sunlight and then um, I will take some pictures so you can all see whether or not the goblin glows. But I want to make sure that my goblin glows because if my goblin does not glow, it's going back to Briar. So there is goblin. And what did I do with Crane? Okay. Here is Crane. So this was the 2017 classic Halloween special run. Um, he is, uh, I think he has more of a, um, hmm, I want to say s ghost or skull theme to him. Um, he's the classic uh, rearing stallion or the Rurex mold in a blanket Appaloosa. And he's got, I think, skulls on his blanket, but we'll open them up and we'll take a look and confirm that. And I uh, have... Um, a number of these and they do all glow very well so there was definitely no glow problem with um, Crane and I 
Hold on just a sec. Sorry guys. I need to organize my wrapping here so I don't get it all jumbled. Put um, goblins wrapping back in goblins box. And then we're gonna put cranes wrapping on cranes box. Okay. So um, again, Crayon was one of those models that needs to be um, charged by light. Um, I just put him under a lamp. I, I don't think it was a UV lamp. I think it was just any sort of light, like a light bulb, but I, I could be wrong. I'm, I don't look at our light bulbs that closely, so maybe it was a UV light, but I don't think so. And he glowed quite brightly. Um, and I think there might even be a video of him glowing here on YouTube from us. I'm not sure if that ever got published or not. Now this guy is actually um, the year that he was produced, 2017. Um, actually, no, I don't, I don't think it was, he was 2016, right? Um, there was a traditional scale Halloween horse, um, who I believe was 2015, named Ichabod, who was on the Fighting Stallion mold, who is a traditional version of this horse. So um, this horse comes in both a classic and a traditional scale. So there we have Crane. Put his wrapping away. I don't lose it. Okay. So he is, oh, I guess he's not really a blanket Appaloosa. He's more of a semi-leopard Appaloosa. So he, this uh, unpainted white plastic is what glows on him. And he has skulls. Um, these do not glow. Um, but that um, is his Halloween pattern there. Uh, I'm trying to remember if his blaze is um, a pattern of any sort, but I don't think it is. And he has little uh, pinking on his eyes. He's very nice. He has um, the shaded hooves and a real subtle striping on his hooves. And he also has, um, like Goblin, the little hang tag um, that says Crane. So a really cute little guy. And I'll put him next to Goblin just to show, show them together. Um, I'm really hoping that Goblin glows because I really like this horse. I think she's super cool and I thought Crane was super cool. Um, I did not get the Sears horse, Calavera, so I am, um, I am just going to be happy with these wonderful classic scale horses. I heard that Calavera actually had quite a few production flaws. We were supposed to get him in and we never did but it's almost kind of like a mixed blessing because I, I wouldn't want to send out a flawed product to our customers. So just, I'm gonna know, um, the paint um, kind of runs from the, um, the fetlock area onto the hooves, kind of like it drippy dripped. Um, I don't, count that as major and actually it's kind of hard to see when the horse is standing because you can see that the, um, um, the hooves are tilted down so um, that's not real obvious but I'm just pointing out everything that I've seen and she has a little purple dot on her cheek there that's real faint um, nothing that I would send her back to Burger for she um, she's nice I, I don't know if I'll be able to append a video to the end of this of them glowing or not uh, I might just have to have pictures but I do plan on taking pictures, and when I, the pictures are taken, they will be up on the website for everyone to see. Um, there are pictures of Crane and Crane glowing on the website, so um, I'll put a link there so you can check him out. And then um, this goblin, um, I'll probably put pictures of her on the website as well. So again, these are the classic Halloween uh, briar horses. This is Goblin, who was the 2017 special run, and this is Crane, who was the 2016 special run. 
I think it's 2016. Hmm. I'm just going to go with that. If it's wrong, I'll correct it in the bottom of the video and, and make a notation of the correct year. So this is Goblin and this is Cream. Uh, thanks so much for watching.